who would win a fight to the death between leopard and cougar, known also as puma or mountain lion. Watch this video in which we will compare these two animals to find the correct answer to this question. But before I introduce you to the protagonists of our fight today, I would like to recommend you a channel that I watch with pleasure every time. The channel is called Creature Challenge, you will find the link in the description, and there you will be able to watch very interesting videos about confrontations between extinct animals and not only. So, especially for those of you who ask me for fights between extinct animals, please give this channel a try. It's worth it for sure. And now let's get back to our confrontation today. The leopard is one of the five extant species in the genus Panthera, a member of the Felidae. The other four species are, tiger, lion, jaguar, and snow leopard. Of these five species, snow leopard is the only one that cannot roar. Compared to other wild cats, the leopard has relatively short legs and a long body, with a large skull. Its fur is marked with rosettes. It is similar in appearance to the jaguar, but has a smaller, lighter physique, and its rosettes are generally smaller, more densely packed and without central spots. Both leopards and jaguars that are melanistic are known as black panthers. The leopard is distinguished by its well-camouflaged fur, opportunistic hunting behavior, broad diet, strength, and its ability to adapt to a variety of habitats ranging from rainforest to steppe, including arid and montane areas. The cougar is a large cat of the subfamily Felini, native to the Americas. Is the most widespread of any large wild terrestrial mammal in the Western Hemisphere. It is an adaptable, generalist species, occurring in most American habitat types. Due to its wide range, cougar hold the record for the animal with the most names. They have over 40, including puma, mountain lion, panther, painter, and catamount. Also, mountain lions are the largest cats that can purr. The cougar is the second largest cat in the New World after the jaguar. Secretive and largely solitary by nature, the cougar is properly considered both nocturnal and crepuscular, although daytime sightings do occur. The cougar is more closely related to smaller felines, including the domestic cat, than to any species of subfamily Pantherini, of which only the jaguar is extant in the Americas. The mountain lion's coat hair length and color is determined by its geographical location, short hair in the tropical regions and longer hair in the northern and southern parts of its range. The color of its coat varies from light gray in the southern parts of South America, various shades of reddish brown in the tropical regions, and a light tan in the Andes and the west coast mountains of the USA. Their head has black markings on each side of the muzzle and on the back of the ears. They have a pink nose and they are a creamy color on their underside. The tip of their tail is black and they have spots when they are young, however these disappear when they reach adulthood. Unlike other large cats, the mountain lion is distinct as it cannot roar, it makes sounds that are more in common with smaller species of cat. Leopard occurs in a wide range in sub-Saharan Africa, in small parts of Western and Central Asia, on the Indian subcontinent to Southeast and East Asia. Mountain lions have the largest range of any wild cat, extending from the southern part of Canada to the southern tip of South America. The leopard is sexually dimorphic, males are larger and heavier than females. Sizes vary geographically. It is muscular, with relatively short limbs and a broad head. Males stand 60 to 70 centimeters at the shoulder, their head and body length ranges between 90 and 200 centimeters, and weigh 37 to 90 kilograms. The maximum weight of a wild leopard is about 96 kilograms, recorded in southern Africa. Cougars are slender and agile members of the Felidae. They are the fourth largest cat species worldwide, being larger than leopards. The cougar is on average larger than all felid species apart from the lion, tiger, and jaguar. Despite its size, it is not typically classified among the big cats because it cannot roar, 
lacking the specialized larynx and hyoid apparatus of Panthera. Adults stand about 60 to 90 centimeters tall at the shoulders. Males generally weigh 53 to 100 kilograms, averaging 68 kilograms. The largest recorded cougar, shot in 1901, weighed 105.2 kilograms. Leopards are opportunistic hunters and feed on a wide variety of prey. Their diet consists of monkeys, antelopes, gazelles, diker, eland, impala, wildebeest, jackals, rodents, hyraxes, insects, hares, snakes, birds, sheep, and goats. Leopards stalk up to their prey and launch an ambush, killing with a quick bite to the neck. They are extremely strong and can drag prey up to three times their own body weight up into a tree to consume it. They can live without water for long periods of time, getting all the moisture they need from their prey. A successful generalist predator, the cougar will eat any animal it can catch, from insects to large ungulates, over 1,100 pounds or 500 kilograms. Mountain lions are carnivores and their main prey are the white-tailed and mule deer but depending on their geographical location their diet also consists of bighorn sheep, pronghorn antelope, elk, moose, tree porcupines, guanacos, hares, rodents, and domestic livestock such as cattle, sheep, pigs and horses. The mountain lion has a great jumping ability and this enables it to ambush and seize its prey. Their prey is usually dragged off to a place of safety before it is consumed. In parts of its global range, the leopard is sympatric with other large predators such as tiger, lion, cheetah, spotted hyena, striped hyena, brown hyena, African wild dog, dole, crocodiles, and up to five bear species. Some of these species steal its kills, kill its cubs and even kill adult leopards. Leopards retreat up a tree in the face of direct aggression, and were observed when killing or preying on smaller competitors such as black-back jackal, African civet, caracal, and African wildcat. Leopards generally seem to avoid encounters with adult bears, but kill vulnerable bear cubs. In Sri Lanka, a few recorded vicious fights between leopards and sloth bears apparently result in both animals winding up either dead or grievously injured. While large, mountain lion is not always the apex predator in its range, yielding prey it has killed to jaguars, American black bears, grizzly bears, American alligators, and to groups of gray wolves or coyotes. It is reclusive and mostly avoids people. Leopards can climb trees very skillfully, often rest on tree branches and descend from trees head first. They are strong swimmers and very much at home in the water, where they sometimes eat fish or crabs. Leopards can run at over 36 miles per hour, leap over 20 feet horizontally, and jump up to 10 feet vertically. They are extremely strong and can drag prey up to three times their own body weight up into a tree to consume it. When running, mountain lion can reach speeds of 50 miles per hour, they can jump 40 feet from a standstill, and vertically leap 15 feet. Mountain lions are also skilled climbers, frequently dwelling in trees. They are also good swimmers, but prefers not to enter the water. According to experienced hunters, a cougar is able to pull on the ground for considerable distances a prey even seven times heavier than it. Although the structure of her body, with longer and stronger forelegs, helps her reach these amazing records, it should be noted that, in terms of agility, the leopard is not inferior to the cougar, on the contrary. So the cougar has a higher speed, but the leopard is more agile. In terms of bite strength, it is estimated that the cougar can bite with a force of 350 pounds per square inch, and the leopard with a force of 300 to 310 pounds per square inch. But, as I have always told you, I will specify again that, especially in the case of such a small difference, this aspect does not matter at all. Other aspects are much more relevant in our fight, such as the maximum opening of the jaws and the length of the canines. And, from this point of view, the leopard has an advantage, 
having a larger skull. In addition, you should know that, like his close relative the jaguar, the leopard is sometimes used to bite the opponent's head, to pierce his skull with canines. Moreover, even in the battles he fights with his fellows for territory, the leopard will immediately look for the decisive bite at the base of the head or in the neck area. So far I have found that the cougar is, on average, 10 to 15 percent heavier than the leopard. The puma is also faster in a straight line, and is capable of more spectacular jumps, while the leopard is more explosive in fast movements, and stronger pound for pound. The two animals are both able to successfully hunt prey even five to six times larger than them, and are strong enough to pull them on the ground, respectively to drag them up in the trees. The cougar has the advantage of superior height, but the leopard is more robust and has a lower center of gravity. Both animals have roughly equally effective weapons and I have no evidence that one of them has more stamina than the other. So how do we manage to decide between these two animals? First of all, knowing that these two animals are part of different subfamilies, Pantherini and Felini respectively, of the same family, Felidae, we will try to see what clues we can get from here. Science tells us that, unlike Felini, Pantherini have a heavier build, denser bones, larger skulls, and larger teeth. All these features benefit the leopard. Although I concluded that the leopard is more experienced in dealing with other powerful carnivores, the general rule in nature that all animals follow is, if you can't beat it easily, you better avoid it. And because we've been talking about it, it's good to know that in areas where the leopard is at the top of the food chain, without equally or stronger competitors, it hunts much larger prey and reaches impressive sizes. Most leopard in savanna aren't big because they aren't the apex predator in their regions, but in the central African Congo basin, where other large predators have disappeared, the leopard is still thriving and grows larger than the familiar savanna leopard we all see on documentaries, or even in the images in this video. These specimens are quite more stockier and robust than the typical leopards, and look more like jaguars. In nature nothing is accidental. In the African savanna, where it competes with lions, hyenas, and packs of wild dogs, animals that all live in large groups, a solitary animal such as the leopard would have no chance if it did not turn to smaller prey and become more thinner and more agile to be able to run easier. Also, a smaller prey is much easier to drag quickly in a tree, from where it cannot be stolen. So, the rule is simple and doesn't just apply to the leopard. If you can't be stronger, you have to be faster. And if we still don't have enough clues to help us choose the winner of this match, all we have to do is listen to the specialists who know these animals better than us. The standard opinion among hunters who hunted both cats is that the leopard is simply the most aggressive animal. He is said to be less intimidated by hunters and their dogs, and is more likely to make an offensive attack. Together with the three largest pantherines, lions, tigers, and jaguars, the leopard is considered a real dangerous game, the cougar is generally not. In conclusion, I can honestly say that I do not feel able to give you a clear answer to the question who would win a fight between a leopard and a mountain lion. But I will share the opinion of Craig Sappho, a biologist and curator of great cats at the Smithsonian Zoo in Washington, D.C. His opinion is that, Leaving aside the lion, the tiger, and the jaguar, the following four big cats, in the order of the highest rank to the lowest, would be, leopards, cougars, snow leopard, and cheetah. The leopard holds the wild card. Don't count leopards out. They're small but very powerful and capable fighters, Sappho said. What do you think about this confrontation? Do you agree with Craig Sappho? I would have told you some interesting things about these animals, but because this video it's already too long, I'll do it another time. I'll give you a homework, I'm waiting for your answers in the comments. Which of you knows what a puma part is? Thank you for watching, for likes and shares. Stay safe.